The rain will not stop us, we will come out rain or shine. And London is such a diverse city, it's my favourite thing about it. I've been fasting today, just to get in the spirit. I'm trying also to fast. Oh, mashallah! I'm here with Omar Salah, founder of Ramadan Tent Project. We hope that all of our fasts and our charity and our prayers are accepted. Ramadan Tent Project is so great because you have people who aren't just Muslim, you have people from all faiths and no faiths. It started back in 2013, the idea was to create a festival around Ramadan and invite people of all faiths and none to come together. I've been coming for quite a few years now. My favourite probably has been at the British Library. I just think it's one of my favourite places in London and to be able to open iftar there is incredible. I'm so excited to see what the future holds. Because you grow up and you don't really feel like Muslims are a part of London and then you come to things like this and you realise that actually they are. What do you think it is about food and sharing a meal that can be so powerful? Well, it's a great connector. It's, it's a great mediator. It's a great way to bridge between different communities. During the course of the past month, so we've had Swahili, Thai green curry, Malaysian, North African as well, Tajin. We've had Palestinian, Maqlouba. I didn't hear Afghan though. Oh, well, well there's, 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 I didn't say we were perfect. But food is a huge part of my family and a huge part of Islam. And sharing in food is um, it's a way we show love, especially with something like iftar where you're, you're giving people food. And also not just random food, you're showing them food from a specific culture that a lot of Muslims come from. This is my second year doing Ramadan Tent Project. Um, I was a volunteer last year and I've come back as a team lead. It's just a community spirit and a feeling like no other. The weather, as you can see today, ideally we would have had lots of sunshine. You see some blue over there though. Yeah, hopefully that comes through a bit more. And hopefully in Trafalgar today it will be a wonderful event for everyone. This time last year it was raining, but a lot more. Okay. And uh, they made us put a lot of tarp down. I feel like as you were saying that, the rain kind of increased yeah, a little bit. I don't, know if, I don't know if you caught that on camera. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we provide food for 3,000 people hopefully today. Those 3,000 dwarves can just distribute it and compound it for everyone else. Yeah, absolutely, it's just it's all about spreading the love at the end absolutely. of the day, isn't it? I'm here with one of our younger attendees, Fatima. How old are you? I'm nine years old. What do you understand about Ramadan? It's a month for like feeling of other people in need. I fasted the whole month. Wow, mashallah. Can I just say, when I was nine years old, I was not fasting, I will admit. How has your experience been like? It's so easy. Easy? Yeah. Okay, subhanAllah. Is this your first time coming to an open iftar event? Yes. It's wonderful and like it's better than like just uh, having got iftar at home. It's just amazing to be here in Trafalgar Square and to see like all these thousands of people here for, for Ramadan. It's amazing. The more people know about Islam, the better opinion they will have about it. And I say that as someone who's worked with many Muslims, there is a bit of a misunderstanding among some people. They don't know much about the religion at all. Um, I just hope that they can learn. Muslims are just people like them, living in London, living in Egypt, living in Dubai, living wherever. We're all human beings at the end of the day. Do you think we can expect to see Ramadan Tent Project going beyond the UK anytime soon? It's always on our radar. Look, we, we get inundated with so many requests from outside of the UK, which is humbling. For sure, that's something on, our hori on the horizon. Do you have a message for our many attendees Woo! in the background here who've come uh, here to break fast today? I think my message is just keep coming, keep supporting Ramadan Tent Project. Remember that London is for everyone. Well, really to say Eid Mubarak to every single one of you. We have the freedoms and the, uh, the joy to come together. But there are others as well who do not have the opportunity. So they will all, all be on our thoughts and prayers as well.